couple of years ago, I um, went to Thailand for the winter. I just took my music kit and went on a wing and a prayer. I was going to try and survive busking. I had 80 quid on me, just in case it didn't go right, so I could have bought a return ticket. Um, but yeah, I, I intended to survive like I was surviving in Europe. Um, worth a shot. If it worked out, it'd be great. So I flew to Bangkok, got through customs all right, um, met a lovely little flight stewardess, air stewardess, who um, sort of um, helped me buy a ticket and you know kept me company on the way into Bangkok. And, and after that, I walked across town and to the Koh San area. I found that a bit hard going actually, um, very noisy, very hot, and the pavements weren't like in Europe. Um, obstacles everywhere, up and down curves everywhere, and uh, I had a big old box and I wasn't used to carrying it, and one of the handles that I'd made snapped straight away, I had to find a, a welder to uh, you know, make it secure again for me. Um, but apart from that, I kind of found a, I was knackered, but I found a, a guest house and checked in, took my kit straight out, stood on a corner. Luckily I had amps because it was a right racket. Sounds of motorbikes and cars everywhere. Um, and, you know, sort of set about playing my set. Quite early on, the police kind of stopped and listened and went off and I just thought, hallelujah, if the police aren't gonna stop me, and this isn't this is gonna be easy. It's just a matter of time now. And now it's to see whether the people liked it. And they did. Um, I got about six hundred bar. I was over the moon. That was a lot of money. The room was about three hundred and eighty. Beers were about sixty-five to ninety if you want a big one, I think. And uh, food was about fifty, seventy bar a pot. So this you know, I went out again the next day and the next definitely doable. After that I ended up um, following up on a lead my friend Dorian had given me. Hello Dorian if you're watching. Um, yeah I had uh, met a guy the, a year or so before down in a place called Trat and um, he'd given me his contact, his Facebook. Um, I contacted him on Facebook and um, I said I was a friend of Dorian's, I'm a musician and he said, yeah, come down, we'll play some music. Great. So I, I ended up heading down there. I, kind of the day before, I'd, I planned on taking the night bus and ended up walking across Bangkok. Um, didn't want to waste money on taxis. And, the, and I was a bit apprehensive of, um, well, I couldn't, of getting on the bus was such a, I hadn't really, the box I was carrying was heavy and big and cumbersome. And uh, ever so slightly, big and it was okay on the big buses but on the smaller ones it was going to prove to be a problem but so I, I decided to walk it across town and I ended up walking most of the way with this Korean girl uh, I think she's Korean um, anyway we walked and chatted but I think I must have got bitten by something because by the time I sort of got to Ekimai bus station uh, my legs felt a bit weird a bit like um, like leather as the evening or the night went on, they, they got worse. And when I got to, you know, um, Trap bus station about five in the morning, there was big white blisters on the back of both of my legs and they were burning. I was very, I was mildly worried. Anyway, the next day I went to a pharmacist and uh, they said I'd been bitten by something. They gave me some steroid cream, that sorted that out. And um, I met P and we end up playing some music and doing a recording together and making a little video and putting it on Facebook. It was a great experience for both of us and it was well received. And a couple of days later, I, um, I tested out playing in trap. I went to busk and no one really around, but a lady sort of came up to me and said, no, you shouldn't be playing, you come to the market. And um, said, I'm an official in the town, any problems? And tell them I said you could do it. She'd already given me a hundred baht. Anyway, I set out and uh, with her and set up 
started playing and the money flew in. Never had any experience of that. It was just like a dream come true. It was like a my co-op back for life back. Sort of with the size sort of rat that anyway, brimming with money. No, it's brimming. Sort of thing. There's lots of notes in there. Twenty bar notes mainly. Even and there were some bigger ones as well. And lots of coins and so when I counted, I had 1,800 bars, and I played for a couple of hours. And this wasn't an isolated incident. Every time I played, it was between an average of 1,400 bar, sometimes up to 2,000. And the average room, I, I, the money I was spending on a room, well, when I was in track, was 100 bar a night, where on average, when I was out and about, it was three, 350. Food was 70 bar. Transport was about 70 bar. Um, beers are about 70 or 80 bar, 90, I can't remember. Um, and so every day I was stuffing money in my pockets. I was making money. It even happened in Cambodia the same. Anyway, I was three or four months of this and I was pretty tired and, and stuff. And um, I survived and I had a great time. And, um, but there was a, a time when I, I needed a rest. And um, so I wrote this song. I had to get myself across the Booyah Junction The buzzer man had let me down again Had to get myself across the Booyah Junction I long to ride those steely wheels and catch that morning train Been everywhere and nowhere I got no fixed abode I was starting to boil over I thought I might explode The sun beat down upon my head And I was pestered by a fly Had to get back off this dusty road And back down to Lamnerai I had to get back down to Lamnerai I knew a cheap motel That suited me just fine There's nothing much to see You think you're gonna quit Some places show hidden doorways Some places make you question why Time to see me stand with hands together Talking to the sky But boy, I bought my ticket Climbed aboard that rickety train we move slowly through the country Stopping every now and then The wind was blowing through my head Poor folk jabbered, good times passed by Station masters pulled their levers All the way to Lamnerai Two nights was all I needed And I was happy Till a bus stop took two hours from me For a bus that never came To try to look real happy I smiled through my clenched teeth Sign in hand on a quiet road Bam Lam Narai was hard to leave Got picked up by a soldier man Said his name was Twat. He drove me out of his way. To him, 